We know about the coming VR and robotics revolution. Today we talk about telemarketing, teleeconomics, telepolitics, but the future is tele-everything. Right now there's a British company that has almost perfected what we call virtual travel. I don't mean the beam me up, Scotty, kind of travel. I mean you can physically be in a meeting with somebody and they're not in the room. You're just wearing a very simple headpiece, but it feels, sounds, even smells to you like that person is there in the room. It's called full haptic technology. A British company has pioneered the way. It is, again, not yet widespread in availability. In five to seven years, we won't have to worry so much about BA flight strikes and airport closures because some of us will be able to have truly virtual meetings, virtual education. Are there any teachers here today or educators? Welcome. Virtual education is not necessarily going to replace the teacher, but it will augment the teacher's role. In America right now, they're developing virtual Einstein and virtual George Washington. They have studied all the writings of these two individuals, and they're able from that to intuit how these men would respond to certain situations or certain questions. And so children will be able to ask and interact with this avatar as if he were real. And of course, there's a powerful... I mean, the internet has been a powerful move forward for teaching in some respects. Uh, this is going to take it all to a new level. You say that will never happen. Well, listen, 85% of children in this country already own a mobile phone and only 72% own a book, So, which is kind of sad in one way. A book is like a whole library of friendships waiting to be made and mentors waiting to be connected. But uh, we're living in a world where the technology is moving quicker than we can really um, keep up with. 